Nobody should ever have to endure this. Family and friends of those who were missing in Orlando told to meet at a makeshift crisis center where they would receive the official word on whether their loved ones had been identified. Sarah Lopez was told to show up at 8 a.m. to find out about her closest friend in the world, Frankie Jimmy De Jesus Velasquez, who was missing. But instead, she received a call in the middle of the night that he had indeed been killed. I thought that he was immortal, you know? He always said that he would never left me, that he would never abandon me, that I trusted him. Sarah always called him Jimmy. He worked in retail. She is an artist. They met where they both grew up in Puerto Rico and both moved to the Orlando area. When, when did you first meet Jimmy? I met Jimmy when I was 16 years old in a, in a get-together at her sister's house, and we fell in love immediately. We knew that we were stuck for the rest of our lives together that very moment, even when he was gay and I was gay. So it was not a sexual attraction. It was a, a soul need, maybe. But you were best friends. Yes. Like soulmates. He was my brother. Most of Jimmy's family remains in Puerto Rico. Same with Sarah. They relied on each other when they moved to the mainland and okay. relied on each yes. other for three and a half decades yes. since. Yeah. When she received the call that Jimmy was dead, her mind raced. And I remember when we used to dance salsa. I remember when my son was sick and he stayed with me at the hospital. I remember when my sister and I, I remember with our best friend died a few years ago. In two seconds, oh, it's like he passed in front of me. Sarah says Jimmy was at the Pulse nightclub with two of his friends who survived. They told her they started crawling towards a bathroom when the gunman was reloading. But one of those friends say Jimmy didn't follow. He was playing dead, hoping the gunman would ignore him. And when he looked back, he said that he saw Jimmy in fatal position. And the guy was shooting back and forth to everything that moved. He said that it was like a hundred. Bam, 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 in a minute. Sarah's mind so, plays tricks with her. You know, what if Jimmy crawled too? Would he be alive and with her tonight? Instead, she now begins to help his mother and three sisters from Puerto Rico plan a funeral and wonders what her life will be like now. We don't know. I might be surviving, but I know I'm not without him. And I can prove you when I clean my home and I listen to salsa, he's right here with me. He's gonna be right here with me. Shortly after we talked with Sarah, she and a niece of Jimmy's went to the medical examiner's office. Jimmy's body had arrived.